In this video, I'll be showing you an inexpensive way that you can thread your rubber bands through buttons or beads so you are able to add them onto your rainbow loom, bracelets, or charms. So all you will need is a twisty tie, which most people have somewhere in their household. And what you need to do is separate the plastic or paper part from the metal. So this one that I'm using here is easy to come apart. If you have one that the paper doesn't just easily peel off of, what you will need to do is just take a pair of scissors and cut as close as you can to that metal wire. And please, if you're a child, ask your parent if it is okay for you to do this. And now what you want to do is take whatever you're trying to put the rubber band on. This is a button. So it has this pretty large opening in the back. I'm just going to put the wire through here and then take the rubber band, bend that wire so it has the rubber band hooked. And now you just need to make sure that the end that you bent in on the wire goes through and it will pull that rubber band through. And now you just want to unbend this and take the wire out and now it is through. So all you're going to do is, as you're making your bracelet or charm, wherever you want this to be, you will just use this band in that place. So here is another one I have that is a Christmas bead, a red bead, so I'm going to just put the wire through here till it comes out the other side, and take this rubber band Again, bend this over, and you want to squeeze it pretty tight, depending on how big your opening is. That's how thin this wire has to be squeezed together. And now you're just going to carefully pull until it comes out the other side. And now again, unbend this and take it off. So for as many times as you use this, you can see that you're wire is going to get pretty bent out of shape but luckily they're inexpensive and now here is a small bead I'm just going to put the wire through and again I'm going to get this rubber band and squeeze this wire tight I want it as tight as I can since this is a very small bead and again, just going to slide this bead through here. And get it about in the middle. And now I can unhook this and slide it off. Now some beads are just too small to use this method. I have a bead here that is a super tiny seed bead and that one will not work with this wire so you will have to use another inexpensive method like for example here is a cheap um, needle threader that has a very thin wire so you would be able to use that to thread this tiniest bead on so that's all there is to it I hope everyone enjoyed this tutorial you can always leave me comments on YouTube or Facebook, and feel free to sign up to my YouTube channel. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram. Thanks for watching!